How are you all doing, all right? Uh, guys, my name, is, uh, my name is Paul, like Danny says, but I'm also known at home in Tipperary as Mr. Dead Sound. Yeah, we have a competition every year to judge the soundest bloke in the whole of Tipperary. I'll be honest with you, I didn't actually win, I came in second, but I kicked up such a fuss at losing that the guy who won gave me the prize because he was a fucking dead sound bloke. He really was, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you a bit about myself. I'm going through a late midlife crisis at the moment. Believe it or not, I recently turned 47. Okay, no argument there anyway. <laughs> Thanks very much. It's a young enough crowd tonight. Is there anyone in, in their 40s? Give us a cheer. Yep. Hey, feel that energy. <laughs> For the younger crowd, I'll explain what it's like to be in your 40s. It's shit. <laughs> Your friends try and console you. They say stuff to you like, oh, life begins at 40. No, life begins at zero. That's just basic <laughs> maths, you know. Or the other one is 40 is the new 30. It's not, I tried telling that to someone recently. They were having none of it. They just gave me the fucking speeding ticket. <laughs> but the other thing I need to tell you about myself is I, I work for Dublin Fire Brigade. Uh, and, and this is like my, my second job. Uh, people often ask me, what's that like? Handy number? And I say, yeah, 999. You don't get more fucking handy than that. Uh, but I have the two best jobs in the world. I swear to God, the two best jobs in the world. Two very, very different jobs. Uh, I'll give you an example. Say somebody's screaming. In comedy, that's good. In firefighting, that's bad. <laughs> Clearing everybody out of the building. In firefighting, that's good. Comedy, that's bad. <laughs> Leaving people begging for more. Comedy, good. Firefighting, bad. Taking out your big hose and spraying it everywhere. <laughs> Firefighting good. Uh, comedy, we'll see how my finale goes. <laughs> I know I don't have a big hose. I uh, have a massive cock though. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't, I don't, I can't live up, up to that. I, uh, no, I, 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 I actually, I have a nickname for my penis. Uh, I call it life, cause it's too short. <laughs> And it gets hard when you least expect it. But my father once told me, right, that marriage sucks the life out of you. So I got married anyway. Slow burner, that one. Uh, she's, uh, she's a lovely girl. Um, I'm terrible with names. Sharon, Sharon. I remember now. I actually, I, I, uh, I, 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 with seven Sharon, we went out with each other for about, uh, I think about five and a half years. The first, the first few years were easy going, but then things started to get serious. You know, she wanted to know my second name and stuff like that. <laughs> then came that inevitable question one night. She said to me, Paul, cause she's the same voice as me. <laughs> Loads in common. Paul, how many women have you slept with? Roughly. And I said, oh, only some of them were into that. I know you wouldn't know to look at me, but I smack more arses than a midwife's convention, you know. Back in the day. I mentioned midwives there. Myself and my wife, uh, we were trying to get pregnant for a long time. And in the end, anyway, she got there before me. <laughs> so uh, I, I've been a proud dad uh, for two and a half years now. Oh. Thanks, yeah, thanks very much. Uh, he's actually four years old. It took me a while to warm to him. <laughs> but it's great though. Another human being is going to call me daddy, uh, voluntarily, anyway. <laughs> Thing, yeah. <laughs> Has anyone got children in here? Not in here, but just in general. Have you, you got young kids? Anyone young kids? Because they're, they're wild. I have a four-year-old at home, toddlers. They have no fear whatsoever. Like, I put him in a situation last week that I know when he's a grown man will frighten the shit out of him. I brought him to Ikea. <laughs> There's nothing more scary. Uh, it actually wasn't too bad this time. I was by myself. Uh, Ikea is a lot like sex. If you don't involve the wife, you can get it done in a fraction at a time. <laughs> Ikea is a lot like sex. Uh, it looks better when Swedish people are doing it. <laughs> Ikea is a lot like sex. I like it, but I don't want to have to go to Ballymun in Dublin for it. <laughs> I'm glad you like that joke, by the way. I put it together myself. Because that's what happens when you have kids. You do dad jokes, I'm sorry. I, I'll tell you a few dad jokes before I go. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. Anyway. So I got kicked out of the Pessimist Society of Ireland. Fucking knew that was going to happen. <laughs> they never liked me because I used to put out too many chairs before the meetings. Uh, I'm going to start up my own Pessimist Society though. Probably won't be as good though. I, uh, I spilled coffee on my CV and I was hanging it out the back to dry and my wife was laughing and I said, my career is on the line here. <laughs> I was getting on a plane the other day and the guy in front of me, he had no bag, right? He had a crate of blue long neck bottles. 
And I thought to myself, that's wicked carry on. <laughs> Especially for the younger crowd. Uh, I, uh, I, said to my, I said to the doctor who circumcised me, uh, will everything be, uh, he said, everything will be just fine down there. Don't worry. Sorry for cutting you short. <laughs> Lovely fellow though, I left him a tip. Phil groans there at the foreskin joke. I'll have to pull back on them. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'll leave you on this one, right? I, I'm in an S&M club, right? But it's full, right? So uh, you know, we're, uh, we're not accepting any new members. Our, our, hand, our hands are tied. <laughs> so there's no point in submitting application forms. Personally, I'd like to give everyone a fair crack at a whip, but uh, they won't allow it. Uh, why? Beats me. <laughs> Folks, thanks very much for listening to me, Jerry. Hey!